So I went through Home Depot as well as some online listings to find a few different things to get us started here. First part that we're gonna be using here is the needle cap. I think this is gonna work great to kind of get us that straw out from the can. And then I have some wing cap here. I don't know if we'll use those, but just thought it might be a fun accessory there. And then I've got a few different types of the angle brackets. So these barb fittings I found in kind of like the sprinkler section for like little home gardens. But we got a couple sizes. We got the black ones, which I found at the store, and then these white ones, which are a teeny bit smaller, it seems, but uh, kind of same premise. And we got corners versus little T's. And then in the black ones, we have like some straights as well. So we'll kind of Frankenstein some stuff together here and see what kind of works out. And then for tubing, I went for this soft, kind of pliable, quarter inch outside diameter and eighth inch interior diameter, and then a more firm one eighth inch exterior diameter here. So this one will kind of be the same size as you find on the, the needle cap, as well as we can insert it into the kind of pliable stuff so it can be kind of a mating tool. And of course, we gotta have some caps to put on the end of these. Let's start off with kind of like a dual tip where we can get two sprays out of one cap. So I'm gonna start by, so I think I can just slide that tube snugly over top of the existing needle cap and then Let's get a little elbow on there. I'm gonna cut this one about half inch in length, and then that'll go up to our T here. In theory, you'll wanna reduce the length of this path so that the cap doesn't lag too bad. Now for our caps, oh sweet, yeah, those fit nice and snug in there. I think these are some old NY skinnies. So we thought of a little bit better of a way to do this. We can shorten this up a little. We can kind of go right to that T here and just pivot the caps a little. Look at that, so you shouldn't have much lag on that at all. So these black elbows are definitely a little bit bigger. Let's try the heat gun and see if that helps soften up the tube a little. Some, but we're not quite getting over that barb much. I don't think there's any way that's gonna leak. <laughs> so yeah, they're definitely sized a little bit different from these clears. And we should go for five on this. Oh, this one's gonna be powerful. Okay, now we got a nice mixer cap, so we can spray from two different cans at the same time. Now check out this combo cap. Oh, who knows how this is gonna even get used. So we got the double up, we got the little spider maybe, and then the five panel. Oh yeah, and we can't forget the mixer. I think it's time we break these out onto the wall. Let's go. So I got a couple cans of hardcore here. Got the wall nice and buffed. I think we should start off with just the the splitter cap, so we go to two from the one. We'll see how this one works out. Gotta make sure these caps are aligned. Look how cockeyed it is. Leaking maybe a little bit, but nice. See what happens when we do like one New York skinny and one fat cat. Pink dot fits a little bit looser on this, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> no good. Let's try the mix. I think the green and purple would go cool together. A little bit more lag on this one. Oh, we blew out. Wonder if the skinny cap's providing a little bit too much pressure. All right, let's go for the Five guy. Kind of 
kind of gives a funky thing. I don't know that we're getting five sprays out of it. Looks pretty sweet though. I don't know, maybe you're a half tone artist. There's a cool little like ghosting effect. Could be sweet for some like wisps and stuff. All right, let's go for the, the spider contraption here. A little uneven, but we got a little peppering. I think it works better as the five, than the five cap. It's pretty tight. like a pseudo calligraphy almost. Well, check it out it like burp along there. Oh, that's pretty tight. For a quick DIY from Home Depot, these black ones actually work pretty good. Well, I think we're gonna do a regular piece now, but that was fun to play around with. See how I can kind of work these into the piece. Definitely thinking background work with kind of the softer stuff might be cool and then I don't know, the two-tone was building up a lot of pressure, so the consistency there was a little little funky, but maybe I rebuild that while I'm out here at the wall. I'm just gonna sketch in with some color place here. Kind of a little rough sketch going. That way we don't waste it with the five outputs. I think we're gonna stick with the purple fill here and uh, kind of do a gradient and get really expressive with it. You can probably barely tell. I got some white outlines, some black outlines. It's a little messy to start, but just gonna get loose with it, see where we go. You know, my last painting at the end of last summer was all freestyle and probably one of my favorites to begin with. So I think if we hold that line here, we'll have something cool at the end. How's it going? Yeah, just messing around today. <laughs> you got to do it over and over in the spot or something? Oh yeah, yeah. It gets painted three times a week. <laughs> yeah, just roughing it in. Messing around with this funny little cap. Okay. You know, carry big nozzles and shit. Yep. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. I like smoke different things, but I like to... <laughs> Get loose, right? <laughs> Take it easy. Thank you. Jeez, the fumes build up like crazy off the wall with this. Remember those old like Tron backdrops that were like perspective neon like grid patterns? Well, I was thinking we got plenty of grids going with this, so maybe we'll do like a, a mid-tier like perspective on uh, all the dark greens and the lime greens in the background. Definitely can't have these last lines on the piece be a tag from single cap. Let's hit some final highlights with the multi cap. What does it say? S I. H. V. E. V. And then E. Yep. Just E. It's just funky in <laughs> the end there. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that piece and this whole little 
DIY session. You know, these aren't flawless, that is for sure. There was a little bit of leaking throughout there, even, you know, when I let go of the one side of the splitter cap, it popped the other side out. So definitely still DIY over here. Nothing like the real professional ones you can grab. So if you're looking for primo stuff, maybe that's the route you go. But hey, if you're looking to learn something yourself and maybe play around with some different styles here, it could be a fun little 10 or $20 session to learn a little bit. Well, if you learned a thing or two or enjoyed the piece, definitely uh, drop a like on the video. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Peace.